Hi and welcome to this video about my mega favorite number. That is my favorite number larger than 1 million. I am Oliver Thiel from Queen Wards University College in Trondheim, Norway. And my mega favorite number is 1,030,301. Isn't it a beauty? My normal favorite numbers are 3 and 7. And this mega number is related to those numbers because 1,030,301 is a 7 digit number. And it contains the digit 3 and 3 times the digit 0. But that is not the main reason why this is my favorite number. A 1,030,301 has a lot of special properties. Um, if you look at the digits, it's odd, even, odd, even, alternating parity. And the most obvious is that it is a palindromic number. And that means that you can reverse the order of the digits and it stays the same number. But even more, it is a cube. It is a cube of a prime number uh, 101 and 101 is a palindromic number as well. So 1,030,301 is a cube, is the third power of the smallest three-digit prime number. And if you look at the digits, it contains only digits that 101 and the three from the third power contain. It is an economic number. And if you look at the prime factors, 101, 101, 101, they all have three digits, so they have the same amount of digits, and that means that it is a brilliant number. And it has no prime factor that appears only once. All prime factors are at least of power 2 and here in fact of power 3. And that means that this number is a powerful number. But we are still not at the end. As I said, this is a cube, the third power of a number, but if you add up the digits of 101 and take the third power, then you get the sum of the digits of 1,030,301. Isn't that amazing? You can even alter the order of the digits, so you take a permutation of the digits and then you get another cube and if you reverse the order of digits in this cube you get another cube but we are still not at the end so 101 is a prime number and the next prime number is 103 and that is a substring of the number 1,030,301. Let us look at the devices. They are all, so uh, 1,030,301 has four devices, one, 101, 10,201, and 1,030,301 and they all four are palindromic. The Euler Sigma function adds together all proper 
um, divisors. And if you do this, you get the number 10,303. And that is as well a substring of the number 1,030,301. But we are still not at the end. 101 is a very special prime number because it is 4 times the natural number plus 1. 4 times 25 plus 1. And the cubes of those prime numbers have very special properties. One property is that it is a sum of two squares. So if you look here, one square we already know, that is uh, 101 squared. And if you add 1010 squared, then you get 1,030,301. And there is a special relationship between 101 and uh, 1010. That is, if you reverse the order of the digits, you get the other one. But that is not the only pair of squares that you can add together to get 1,030,301. There is another pair. Here it is. And another uh, property that those uh, cubes have is that they are the hypotenuse of three different Pythagorean um, triangles and I had to write a little code to calculate those triangles and here they are. This is the first one and here's the second one and this is the third one. If we put a two, the digit two in front of the number 1,030,301. So we make it a, a 21,030,301, then we get a prime number. And we can do the same with the digit nine. So 91,030,301 is a prime number as well. Isn't that a mystery? But why only focus on the decimal system? You can, in fact, take every place value system and the relationship will be the same. So the number 1030C3 one is always the cube of the number 101. Uh, each uh, system with a base larger than 3. You can of course not take the bases 2 or 3 because uh, you do not have the digit 3. But in not all of those number systems 1 0 1 is the prime number. So I checked uh, in which systems it is and it is in quite a lot number systems a prime number and I highlighted the number systems that are really in use. And that is the last thing about this special number 1,030,301. Goodbye and thank you for your attention.